We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. If you played Grand Theft Auto Vice City, this is something you would have heard time and time again on the radio station. What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new Grand Theft Auto 6 video on the channel. My name is Dean, bringing you guys all of the latest updates and up-to-date news for GTA. 6. Today we are going to be talking about some more information that involves crazy weather systems within GTA 6 and this is something that has been improved over time in the Grand Theft Auto series. We will be breaking down some really cool information that I will be showing you guys briefly in the video. There is also some additional information regarding some of the story and a lot more. Before we do get started with the video if you could be so awesome actually before you know I ask for your like on the video like I say in every video first of all I would just like to wish you the viewers a happy new year and I wish you all the best for 2020 and that is just something I want to say to everyone no matter what 2020 will hold for you I'm sure it will be the greatest time of your life if you put your mind to it but nonetheless that's what I want to say I just want to wish you all a great new year and enjoy it while you can if you guys could be so awesome and give this video a thumbs up if you think this video deserves your like you guys can do so by clicking on the like button it will take a second of your time and let's see if we can get this video to over 20 likes on the last video i said 20 likes but you guys absolutely nailed over 100 likes which is absolutely insane i'm not sure how you did that but thank you so much to everyone who supported the last video if you haven't already subscribed you are more than welcome to subscribe and join us on the road to i guess 10,000 subscribers because that is the next biggest milestone for my channel personally you guys can stay updated with all of the latest gta 6 information by clicking on the bell notification if you guys click on the bell and receive all notifications you will stay updated with all of the videos plus whenever there is you know gta 6 stuff to talk about anyways everyone before you do click off the video i know this is probably boring you and you guys want to see this gta 6 news well we're gonna get started with the information now the news i will be talking about i do believe was actually taken off reddit for unknown reasons we don't know why this was taken down but anyways this was some leaked news which was provided to us by a leaker who apparently has some inside sources about gta 6 so let's take a look at this information it starts off by saying gta 6 will be set over three cities including the main location of vice city liberty city and parts of los santos there will also be two non-playable areas which will be featured in the story guarma Cuba as well as an unnamed location which is the fictional take of Mexico City. The new map will be exponentially larger than the previous titles with a new weather engine being adopted for the game to include more realistic precipitation patterns as well as flooding, hurricanes and new NPC responses to the changing weather patterns. The story will be based around the development of a low-life criminal from Guarma Cuba, who slowly begins his ascent to the top of the criminal food chain. You will start on the streets of Liberty City where you will scrape by committing robberies as well as minor drug deals. Through missions you will meet up with the second protagonist, a female working with a young Martin Madrazo and his crime family. The story begins in the early 70s eventually finishing off in the present day with you assuming the position of a drug lord. Over the next few months Rockstar will be drip feeding information through hints in the upcoming updates in both GTA Online and Ordeor 2 Online. A trailer is also in the works for late 2020. No precise date was specified however my guess would be mid to late October. As you guys just seen or heard um, basically everything I talked about in this video was pretty much regarding some really cool details about some gameplay as I said about some weather systems within GTA 6 which is definitely something Rockstar games can improve upon which I will talk about so keep on watching the video and you guys will have some ideas and suggestions with no doubt so make sure you guys do also leave a comment the guy also talks about some really interesting characters like the Madrazo 
family returning back to GTA 6, which is something in my opinion I would definitely love to see happen because I feel like in GTA 5 we didn't exactly get to see too much of Madrazo and I would be very curious to see what it was like for his family back then in GTA 6 if they are to return to the game. I would definitely be very interested in seeing and doing some more missions with the Madrazo family. Nonetheless, he also talks about like the character, the protagonist, which we start off in Liberty City as a small time guy, work our way up, probably end up in Vice City at some point. So that is pretty much what the guy is saying in this leak. And to me, that sounds like a great story. We start off in a city we once played in, and then we just work our way all the way to the new location, well, Vice City. So I honestly cannot wait, and this sounds very, very interesting, but I want to highlight um, some features, for example, like the weather system. And I'm very curious to see what the weather system in GTA 6 will be like, because there is mentions of rumors, and not just this post, but I have seen in many other leaks, mentions of hurricanes, flooding, heavy rain and a lot and we know florida is very very common for that type of tropical weather of hurricanes and just rain in general it does get a lot of rain and it also gets hurricanes which is definitely something rockstar games can really bring into gta 6 and hopefully with that being said they do because as you guys seen at the start of the video i played a small clip from vice city which the guy on the radio says the mainlands or the bridges have been closed due to severe weather warning and that is hurricanes. What's really annoying is that we don't actually get to see the hurricanes or the bad weather in Vice City um, back then but obviously Rockstar couldn't make it possible for Vice City because it was on the PlayStation 2. We're talking about GTA 6 being in Vice City with GTA 6 also being on a console such as you know a new console like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series. From what we heard also, those consoles will be absolutely crazy in terms of what they will be able to do in terms of performance for video games and I am definitely sure Rockstar Games will be improving the weather system and I would be very very disappointed if Rockstar could not make hurricanes or at least something like a hurricane um, effect in GTA 6 because we know Rockstar Games are definitely improving the weather every single time. They are slightly going backwards on the NPC reactions and animations so what I'm talking about is as well in GTA 4 we actually saw characters put something over their heads to take cover from the rain however in GTA 5 there isn't really too much of that and I kind of feel like Rockstar Games were a bit lazy on that part of development but hopefully they will um, make it more realistic in in a GTA 6 where characters can actually pull up their hoods on their jackets or maybe even pull out an umbrella or just something like that because I feel like small details like that go a long way and as we've seen in Red Dead Redemption 2 how much Rockstar improved on NPC reactions and what NPCs are capable of doing. There is really no excuse in my opinion for Rockstar not to include some really cool NPC animations, you know, for characters when bad weather is in place. So anyways guys, I do thank you for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you guys do leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section of the video what you guys think of the weather system for GTA 6. Are you excited for it? Is there anything you would improve? For GTA 6, if you played any previous GTA games or even Red Dead Redemption 2, is there anything you would take away from those systems and improve it for GTA 6? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. But with that being said, my name is Dean. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys again for a new video. Stay cool.